Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. So recently, my video titled The Best Way to Watch Anime was taken down. Which, you know, I can't exactly complain. Technically speaking, I was teaching people how to do something that goes against the DMCA. Now, granted, I would argue that there's content on YouTube that's far worse than what I did. That's still up till this day. Maybe you should focus more on that than my video, but whatever, I'm not gonna complain. However, I do want to salvage one aspect of that video, which is Anime 4K, because I still think it's a really cool project that can legitimately improve your experience watching anime if you have a 4K monitor. Now, because I don't want this video to also be taken down, I'm gonna have to be really obnoxious with how I present this. You see, YouTube, this right here is a physical copy of the Bochi the Rock music album that I own, which also comes with another disc containing the opening and endings. So, I'm gonna take this disc, I'm gonna insert it into my computer, and then I'm gonna use a program called Make MKV, which allows me to rip the footage from the disc, meaning that I'm not downloading this from the internet. I could even download the opening sequence uploaded on Crunchyroll's official channel, which is hosted on your own fucking website, but I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, I have the footage with me, which by the way, as long as I have the original copy, I'm entitled to have a legal copy of the copyrighted work that I own. Now, there are some gray areas when it comes to the legality of circumvention of encrypted and DRM protected works, but that's up for the courts to decide. I'm just simply exerting the right that has been granted to me in written text. Regardless, now we have to download the program that we're gonna use to upscale the 4K, or more specifically, the shaders and config files which are readily available on their GitHub page and can be used on the video player MPV. Now, because I use the Penguin OS, which by the way, recently KDE Plasma gained partial support for HDR, which is very exciting. Still needs work, the color grading isn't the best, I still can't enable the HDR setting in-game, you need to pull off some game scope hacks in order to achieve that, but when I do play games on my HDR monitor, it looks very similar to the PS5's Always On HDR, which is honestly still more progress than I ever imagined that we would achieve. When I watched that X11 HDR seminar more than a year ago, I was legit in a Doomer mindset, but things are looking positive. Anyway, open the link, scroll down, and now it's time to pick the correct shaders. Now, I warned this before and I'll warn this again. Please check your GPU specs. If your graphics card is below the recommended requirements for the higher end shaders, don't bother, you're just gonna crash your computer. Just use the lower end shaders, which still might be a little bit too much depending on which integrated graphics card you have. So once again, please check your specs. I'm gonna pick the higher end shaders because my GPU meets the requirements. Then after that, you extract the files and copy them into the MPV config folder. After that, feel free to open any video that you wanna test it out. I'm testing the Bochi the Rock opening and it honestly looks great. You can pick the upscaling levels by pressing Control 1, 2, 6, and after that, just have fun. Hell, you don't even need to use this just for watching it in 4K. If you have a 1080p monitor and you're watching a blurry ass anime like Kino's Journey, which I also own by the way, I wouldn't personally recommend watching this in 4K. This project is mostly optimized for 1080p to 4K. Any resolution below that, you're gonna start noticing some artifacts, the image will look kind of oily, long distance assets will look especially bad. But if you're watching it on a smaller screen, it's not gonna look as bad. It can somewhat play the role of an anti-aliasing technique. Now, this is very GPU intensive, so you're gonna have to get used to seeing your GPU usage skyrocket in some instances. Hopefully one day we'll have an open source AI based anime upscaler. If that happens, I'll sell my GPU and buy an RDNA 3 car. But until then, this solution is pretty neat. And I think that's all I have to share. I'm probably gonna leave this apartment after I finish editing this video. Hopefully I still have some time to play like a Dragon Infinite Belt, cause my god, that game has been a fucking emotional roller coaster. Like some of the music composed for this game in specific, like aside from the recycled ones, the ones that were composed for this game, like some of them are like, probably some of the best that I've heard in a while uh, as far as Yuruga Kotaki games. So yeah, it's been a really fantastic experience. Anyway, that's all. Goodbye.